client found out recently in the last 24 hours, um, Sando spoke to me in a uh, post-season coaching review and um, I was made aware there that the opportunity had been given to me to take over or, or to start next year as a state league coach. Um, still coming to grips with it, but I'm super excited. It's a unique opportunity. It's the first time the club's obviously had a state league team. Um, going to be massive challenges with it, but certainly I'm looking forward to the challenge and um, and all our, all our coaches are really excited. So initially as a young kid, I'm from Albury-Rodonga, so I played in the TAC Cup for Murray Bush Rangers. Um, I spent three years there um, and then I went to, I was fortunate enough to be drafted to West Coast Eagles on a rookie list in 1997. Um, I spent two years there, 98, 99, playing for West Perth and Claremont. Um, I then got delisted at the end of 99 and made my way back to the Ovens of Murray as a top-up player for the Murray Kangaroos, which is a similar type structure to what we have here now. North Melbourne at that stage had their own team and I was a top-up player, so when I, they needed players, I'd go down and play. So I'm aware of the, the structure that we're walking into as a player. Um, I then finished my time at the Murray Kangaroos in, in 2000 and 2001. I, I moved to Adelaide and I've been here since. So I spent 10 years at North Adelaide um, where I played 183 games over 10 seasons. Um, and then the last two years prior to this, I coached the under 18 program at North Adelaide in 2011 and 12. And it's my first year at the Adelaide Football Club. Oh, yeah. Certainly, I, I've been in that system as a player. When I was in Perth, I went from a, a team where they were segregated across the waffle to my second year there where we all played at Claremont and the development we made as, as players um, individually was unbelievable. So I know it as a player. From a club perspective, uh, this year's been really difficult for some of our players um, and our coaching to be able to coach a player not knowing what structure they're playing within. Um, by introducing our own state league team, we have full control of the players. We, they play the similar style of what the AFL team do. Um, our coaching uh, can be can be really hands-on on game day, whereas at the moment we sit in the grandstand and don't have any real coaching contact on game day. So all that being said, um, we can certainly see a positive in relation to developing our players, which already the development program here is, is quite good. Um, I think it's exciting for the competition personally. Um, I feel that the competition is looking for something new. Um, as a, a past player in the Sample, I would think the clubs, and I'm only assuming here, I think the clubs would see it as a positive in that they get full control of their list and they don't have to be worrying about when players come in and out of their, of their team. Um, generates interest for the competition. Uh, clubs will want to try to beat Adelaide. They'll want to try to beat Port Adelaide. Um, so I can only see a real positive for the competition. Um, as a pass player, I think it was the way to go and um, it will only grow back our supporter base as a SNFL competition. Uh, certainly my role, I don't see it changing as far as development. Um, uh, it's still about developing our players as players, however, we certainly won't be going and jeopardising trying to win games of footy. Um, I love winning. Players love winning. It's great to have a winning culture. So I would think that um, regardless of the day who we're playing against, we want to win games of footy. Um, and in that, having our players to play together, playing our structures, that's where the development phase will occur. Um, you look at mo the model of Geelong. Geelong have played in the, well, we'll play in the last two grand finals in the VFL. Um, and they're still developing players, they've got young kids coming through, so I can't see the model changing much from that. My experience as a top-up player in uh, 19, I mean, sorry, 2000, when I come back from Western Australia and I topped up for North Melbourne, it certainly gives me now, I can fall back to that experience and see how at times intimidating it was, um, but in the same breath, it's exciting. Not many players get an opportunity to play next to, um, and young kids this is, and country kids get it, the opportunity to play next to AFL players. Let's put a scenario, who knows, but Taylor Walker coming back from a knee, does he spend time in our uh, state league team and has a young kid who looks up to Taylor, gets to play next to him. So 
I will understand what the player's going through, our top-up players, and I'll do, along with the other coaches, do our, our best to make sure they feel comfortable in our environment. Yeah, I envisage our players uh, coming to our football club one day a week, maybe pre-season, and certainly understanding and learning the environment that we're in and becoming familiar with that. Um, during the season, I would envisage them training twice a week, maybe on a Monday as a post-game review type recovery um, and exposing to some of our wonderful facilities we have, but also on a Friday night, a captain's type run, our last training session, uh, they come down, meet the players, understand where they're playing, not just turning up on sad day and going, oh, you're playing here and not knowing anyone. That, that's how I was introduced to it. Um, it can be really intimidating. So we, as coaches um, of the State League team, we need to do whatever we can to make sure those players are comfortable and ready to play come on that Saturday or Sunday. We had our post-season review and it, it was basically a half an hour meeting and at the end of it, it was brought on me. Um, no doubt the next two weeks um, we'll sit down and go through it and nut it all out and what it looks like and um, at this stage I haven't had a lot of a lot of chats with him but or communication with him but certainly the next two weeks we'll do that. Oh, certainly uh, initially they were really excited. Um, I think as any player there were some concerns amongst the group early days when they didn't know where we were going to play, whether it was amateurs, whether it was in the reserves competition. Um, the right results happened that we get to play in the state league um, competition. The players would be excited, they would be um, thrilled that they get to play together. Um, it's really important now we create a, a club type feel with these players, especially new ones coming in. Um, they know it's the best for their development and um, they get to play the same style week in, week out, whether they're in the senior team or in the state league team.